This is concerning. Highest rate of incompletion due to inaccurate passes in 2023. This is from Warren Sharp. Uh, highest is Deshaun Watson, 43.9. Tyrod Taylor, Trevor Simeon, Bryce Young. Those are guys you do not want to be around in this uh, conversation. Lamar Jackson at uh, 36.7. Um, so here's the question. The question is, is it because the quarterback's mechanics are a mess, which they were some, or mm. is your offense not playing to the quarterback's strengths? Are you asking him to do things that he doesn't do well? And I think it, there was a little bit of that. A little bit of column A, a little bit of col column B. His eyes and his feet were married perfectly. He, he was getting antsy, trying to hit bigger plays, passing over some easy stuff. You know, and then you saw in the games where he got hurt and he was playing free because he wasn't in his own head and he was just facilitating. He was getting really the Tennessee game and the Baltimore game. He was very good in the second half of those games while injured because he wasn't overthinking it. You know, but then you add in the fact that I don't think it was a perfect match with the offense to his skill set. And if there's anybody you have to tailor your system around, it is your signal caller. It is the guy who touches the ball every single play. And I think you're seeing a full-throated effort this year to do that. You know, you've seen a complete offensive uh, staff overhaul, bringing pieces in, and building this offense around Deshaun Watson. Now, if 2024 comes and goes and you don't see any re progression and you still see the same issues that you see from time to time with his indecision, uh, passing over easy stuff to hold on the ball, looking for big plays, and then they don't materialize and you take a loss, you can't win like that. You know, so it's, it's got to be a mixture of keeping on schedule, but letting him be him. You know, and then obviously a lot of that is being in the shotgun, letting him dictate, letting him call progressions, let it, letting him get comfortable with the scheme and, and the way that he's used to seeing things and let him go out there and just make the play that's to be made. If he does that, I don't think you're seeing 43.9 uh, as far as his inaccuracies. And that is a, it is a very startling number. You want that number to be in the low 30s at worst. You know, for winning teams, when you're looking up and down that list, there weren't too many quarterbacks that, that made themselves to the playoffs with that kind of inaccurate play. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes was 23.6 or something like that. That'll give you an idea of how yeah. how his uh, was.